now I'm not one to be much of a stickler when it comes to this kind of thing, but when you make uh, a tablet to compete with a much bigger company that knows what they're doing and knows how to work with these kinds of things, you don't, you look into it, you do your research and you build a quality product. You don't put out something that on Amazon says it goes for $70 and apparently it's on sale for $24.95. I don't think that's the case here, XP Pen. I got your tablet in the mail, extremely excited uh, to test it out and to see what was going on with it. And uh, my first impressions was very good. Uh, the build quality is very excellent for $30. Uh, the pen is passive, which is a huge bonus for you guys, which is probably going to help me recommend it over the Huion H420. However, there are some major problems that I would really like to address with this particular tablet. Um, mainly, one of the main things being the lift off distance. It's about one and a half to two inches, and it is very bad for Osu, especially for people who, like me who lay their hand um, basically almost on the back of the hand and hold the pen at, a, at, a, at the very top and move it around like that. I had to hold the pen in such an awkward way. I didn't. It didn't feel natural to play Osu to me at all. So that is one thing that I feel you guys should address with your um, Osu-centric tablet. Um, also, your drivers were very confusing and very hard to um, get installed onto my Windows 10 computer. My Windows 7 uh, desktop, it did work a lot better with that, and I had a very smooth, easy time installing that. Um, however. Um, most people these days are going to be using Windows 10, and I did not have a great experience with the drivers on Windows 10. Um, pressure sensitivity would go in and out, but for the most part, it's okay. It's not as smooth and you know fresh as a Wacom tablet. However, it is good for the money. Um, pressure sensitivity is there. However, um, it's extremely sensitive. Even on the um, the lower settings, on the heavier settings, it's still extremely sensitive. It's almost like if I set it, set my Wacom tablet to the lighter setting and then just use that all the time. I'm a very heavy artist. I draw hard. So having the uh, pen sensitivity that high, even on the heavy setting, um, pretty much a no-go for me. Um, but over, other than that, it was an extremely smooth drawing experience. I absolutely adored using the tablet while drawing. Especially, for, you know, like I said, it's $30 price tag. There are a couple other things I want to mention, such as um, I did like the build quality right out of the box when I unboxed it. However, there were a couple of things that I noticed after unboxing it, like the exposed PCB. P m not many people will recognize this because it's such a minute detail, but um, if you look on the side of the tablet, they got it so thin because they didn't put any plastics around the PCB. It's um, a piece of metal on top of a PCB with a piece of plastic covering the rest of the bottom and all the um, electronic components are on the side where it displays the light and XP pen. Um, another thing that um, was a kind of a downer for me was the non-detachable cable because once that breaks you cannot use another one. The thing with Wacom tablets is that they use non-proprietary connectors such as mini and micro USB so it's easy to replace those cables unlike the XP pen tablet if it breaks, you won't be able to replace it that easily. Now I can see that coming from a budget standpoint. However, Huion does do the replaceable, replaceable cord thing. Um, another thing I really liked about the XP Pen uh, tablet was the pen. It's very lightweight, but despite that, it's extremely well balanced and well weighted. Um, the buttons are nice and clicky. The nib feels really nice to draw with. It has a spring-loaded thing to give you that, you know, that feel like you're drawing with a brush or a pencil. So I really enjoyed that about the tablet. Um, not much else to say about it. It was really easy to use. Um, I didn't have to install, install any drivers to play Osu with it. I mean, that's a good thing considering the fact that their main marketing is, you know, Osu players. But um, if you want to draw with it, it's going to take some, you know, some fiddling with your computer. Um, not the best driver experience, in my opinion. 
um, if you watch Tommy Oliver's review on on their um, Artist 22, I think it was, he was having a lot of troubles with their with those drivers as well. I think it's the same driver, just a little bit different because it's an on-screen tablet. Um, he said that the pen pressure would go in and out, and he had to keep uh, changing the USBs. The pen pressure would go in and out for me, but I didn't have to change the USBs. All I had to do was, uh, you know, open the open the uh, the tablet driver back up again, the tablet settings. Um, I'll show you a video of that right now. Um, overall, I recommend this over the uh, Huion H420. They've been doing this longer, but XP Pen really nailed it with the build quality and the pen experience. Overall, it is the best out of all of the uh, Wacom alternatives out there. They have a passive pen that doesn't require any batteries, and that is, in my opinion, the way to go. Huion requires batteries, it either whether it be rechargeable or um, you know AAA with the little click thing on the top. And um, for me, that is definitely a no-go. I will not use any tablet. Um, that uses a battery in the pen. Never. Because I've done it before and it was an extreme hassle. Sometimes the battery wouldn't sit right. Sometimes I had to replace it too often. Um, one thing I didn't really like about the pen is that I found myself turning it around. Maybe that's just because I'm coming from a Wacom tablet, but I am I found myself turning it around to use the eraser portion that isn't there. So, overall I give this tablet a recommendation. Go out and buy it if you're looking for a budget tablet that you can draw with. At or, and or play osu it's very good for both of those things um its benefits definitely outweigh the flaws and i think it's something that you should definitely pick up if you're just getting into art um don't go out and buy the new intuos because the new intuos is exactly like this the new intuos is the same exact thing as this xp pen here um the pen doesn't have an eraser on it anymore and it, that's just the only reason why i can you know, I could have recommended the older Intuos from Wacom because it had an eraser in the pen. But now, their new Intuos line, they don't have erasers in the pens. Don't go out and buy that. Buy this XP pen tablet. It is literally leagues better because it's, you know, cheaper and the build quality is, I'd say, a little bit better because the top is made of metal and not um, plastic that's going to wear down over time. Anyway, this has been Bloody Masquerade. Thank you for joining me for this review. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I have more videos like this coming soon. I'll be reviewing my Intuos Pro Small and the Huion um, H420. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out.